Hello test takers, welcome back to Exam Prep Solutions. And today we're talking about an uncomfortable topic, failing the FE exam. Maybe you just failed the FE exam, you fear failing, that's okay, you've come to the right video. We're gonna talk about how we can change our study strategy around, look at things through a different lens so we can pass the next time, or maybe you can do well this first time here. Look, failure happens, it happens to everyone, okay? Sometimes not all the right things line up for you to do well on the test, but it's important to learn from your mistakes and do better the next time. It's okay to fail, but failing repeatedly based on repeated errors, um, that's when things start to really go wrong. But if you learn from your mistakes, you get back up, you do it again, you should be fine. So let's get into this video here. So here's our agenda. Why did you fail? We'll do a little autopsy on how you did on the test, what you did well, what you need work with, assessing some of those external factors that maybe affected how well you did on the test, and what's your plan moving forward. So why did you fail? <laughs> this can be an uncomfortable conversation to have because so much work goes into studying, taking, passing, the, the money, the effort, the time. I get it. It's tough. And, you know, not judging anyone for failing. It happens. It's a tough, it's a difficult test. There's, only, there's a reason why only so many people become engineers. It's difficult. It's hard. You're already doing something very difficult. But accurately assessing and being honest about yourself why you didn't do well is only going to help you do uh, better next time. So failure can be difficult to deal with and accept. The FE civil exam, it's a massive endeavor. And the thought of taking the test again, uh, it may be daunting. You're like, oh, it took so much work to study. Now I got to do this again. Um, yeah, that's a difficult thought to have. But if you really are committed to this goal and passing it, then you'll get over that and you'll start learning what you need to do. There can be a variety of factors, some of, your, some of them in your control, maybe some that were outside of your control. They may have contributed to your final score. So we're going to go over that in this video. So a lot of people ask, should I retake the test right away? And I think there's actually a testing window. So maybe you have to wait a, wait a bit of time uh, to take it again. Maybe it depends on the state, actually. So depending on your score and your study timeline, you may want to retake the test as soon as possible. And some people suggest this. There are some pros and cons to this approach. I think the pros are if the material is still fresh in your head, you're still in that mode of studying you have that schedule and routine down um, and maybe you just did bad on one specific topic you need to review that topic and then maybe you're good to go and you're fine um, the con though cons though are you're already burnt out from taking the test you're already gonna have to pay for another test do it all over again you may feel very exhausted and maybe you failed quite a few topics and you actually need to do some more review before you take it again so what is my recommendation it depends um, if you came very close to passing, you understand why you didn't pass and you reviewed those topics quickly, maybe retaking the test uh, quickly again might be the right approach for you. I think in a lot of cases, though, it's better to take our time and reevaluate what happened and then study more in depth some of the topics and then be confident going into the test again instead of just reacting to you not passing the test and just wanting to take it again because you want to get it over with. So let's do an autopsy on why maybe you didn't pass the exam. So that's what we're going to cover here. So you need to conduct an honest evaluation of why you didn't think you did well on the test or of your test performance. Use your test report, which is what they give you when you don't pass, to determine which topics will need the most review and study time. And then be honest about where you can make the greatest improvements. So here's an example test report that from not passing that maybe you could get. So it gives you on a scale of 0 to 15 the number of items and then how you performed compared to the average. So let's say this is just an a sample individual here on a performance of 0 to 15. We can tell that they didn't do well on statics, they didn't do that quite well on dynamics, and they lacked in transportation. Those are like the three lowest performing topics. They did really well on ethics 15. They knocked it out of the park, probably don't need to study that again. But those four lowest topics, statics, dynamics, there's a lot of problems on statics. It's like 8 to 12 or something like that. Dynamics, not quite as much. Transportation does have a lot of questions. So if I was looking at this individual, I'd be like, hey, you definitely need to brush up on your statics and transpo. You did not do well enough. If you just took the test over again and you don't understand those topics, you're probably going to fail again. Um, I mean, not to mention that a lot of the topics were um, you know, below average, but those are the two most lacking. And so if you look at those, you go, hey, these three or four topics really were lacking. You're going to need to do some in-depth review of those. Let's get those back up to average, and it'll greatly improve your chances. Another aspect is you want to review topics that there's a lot of questions for. Like I said, statics, 8 to 12. I think dynamics is like 4 to 6. It may not be as worth it to 
spend your time reviewing tons of dynamics problems with statics and transpo. There's a lot of questions. I would spend some time reviewing that topic uh, for sure. And then if the topics you did well on, for example, ethics, it looks like you did okay on you know, fluids, you did, did all right on some of the ones that are closer to 10. Maybe you don't need to put as much effort into those, but the other topics I would. So be honest about what you need to be better at and then develop a plan to start studying those concepts. So anything that you scored the below of eight will need to be reviewed. And then anything you below the score of six is going to need some serious help. So these topics likely go beyond solving more problems, but basic understanding of the concepts and topics. So if your score is below a six, it's not just you got unlucky and got the wrong problems or you need to do more practice problems. It's you have some sort of underlying understanding that is broken or you don't understand some of the basic concepts. You need to go back and do some conceptual review to make sure you understand uh, those problems because just doing practice problems will not be enough to help you pass the test. You need to understand the concepts and how to apply them on the FE exam. And then we also need to be honest about the external factors that may have affected your test taking plan. Maybe you didn't get a lot of sleep. Maybe you're super stressed. You have a tough time. I know a lot of people have a tough time dealing with test anxiety and that's just a reality for some people. Maybe you just weren't hydrated well enough. You're super tired. Uh, maybe you overstudied and you burned yourself out before the test and that led to a poor test taking performance. These are external factors. They are real. Um, you know, we need to take responsibility for them, but they do affect your test performance. So if you had something go drastically wrong, like um, you got lost because you didn't have the directions to the test center or you didn't get a lot of sleep or you, you decided to eat a giant meal before the test, I don't know what it could be. But if that affected your test taking performance, make sure that doesn't happen again. Um, you know, make sure you get plenty of sleep. Change your sleep schedule if you have to months before the test to make sure you're fine. Learn uh, anti-stress strategies. You know, get out and exercise. And do, uh, you know, pray, meditate, whatever you need to do to get the stress off your mind um, and learn how to deal with your test anxiety. Just tackle some of those external factors so they don't affect you as much when you take the test again. Now, here's some test, test location advice. If possible, I would say do not stay overnight somewhere um, else to take your test. Now you may have to do this, like if, when I took my PE, um, the test taking center was like two and a half, three hours away. I wasn't going to drive three hours. You don't want to drive three hours to your test center. That's also exhausting, especially with how early uh, usually the tests are, They're usually like eight or 9 a.m. Um, I was luckily able, I think the test time for my FE was like noon. That was great. I like to get up a little later in the day. But if you have an earlier test, don't drive, don't get up at four and drive three hours. Okay, so you may have to stay overnight. But if possible, find a test center like my FE, I only had to drive 45 minutes to the test center. That was perfect for me. So because staying overnight, you have to get a hotel. You have to pay for it. You have to check in. You're sleeping somewhere you're not used to. Your, your daily routine is completely thrown off. And then you have to check out of the hotel. There's a lot of extra stress when you're staying at a hotel. If you're able to stay or live where you're usually living, you can follow your usual daily routine, your usual nightly routine. Um, and you can, your body's going to be in sync for it. So I, you don't go to bed super early more than you usually do or eat a normally large meal or change up your daily routine before the test you want your body to be in sync so if that means that you're not you don't like getting up early like for my pe test for example it was at eight i was gonna have to get up at closer to six i hate getting up early i like getting up at eight so what did i do for a month i trained my body to get up early it wasn't that big of a shock when i did it on the day of my test so if you've got a problem find a way to train it and adapt your body to it um, like I said, if the drive to the test center is too long, then you may need to stay overnight. But if possible, just try to do a drive to a, to a test center. So what's your plan moving forward? Assess where you can improve on your test taking strategy. Study those underperforming topics that we mentioned. And then evaluate and develop a plan to combat, to combat some of those external factors that may have affected your test day performance. You can download our free guide, How to Solve Any FE Exam Problem in 5 Steps. That's in the description box down below. I would check that out if you need help with your test taking strategies. You can also leave a comment with any of your questions. But anyways, good luck on taking your test and we'll see you guys in the next video.